everyone. In this video, we're going to talk a little bit about integration and also how to use some of the uh, tutorials here in Maple. So our problem says find the volume generated by revolving y equals cosine of x around the x-axis from x equals 0 to x equals pi over 2. So for this type of problem, the first thing I recommend that you do is draw a plot. To make a plot, I'll be in math mode. I want to plot the curve as x goes from 0 dot dot up to pi, and pi is located on the common symbols palette. And so we want to revolve this region around the x-axis, and we can start to visualize what that will look like. I can also set up the integral. To do the integral, I would want a definite integral. I'm going to work with disks, and so I'm going to take the limits of integration x equals 0 up to x equals pi over 2. And for the disks method, I need pi times my function squared. So in this case, cosine squared of x. And Maple evaluates the answer to be pi squared over 4. So uh, this should be the volume. Now let's take a look at the Tools menu, Tutors, and I'm going to go under Calculus Single Variable and scroll down to the Volumes of Revolution. So over here I can type in one or two functions. I only have one function and it's cosine of x. My limits of integration go from 0 up to pi over 2, and I need pi with a capital P. Let's display. And so here we have the volume displayed, and I can click on this and rotate the figure around with my cursor. So it kind of looks like a, a pointy uh, sort of curvy shaped figure. Maybe it looks like a, a Hershey's Kiss. We have the, the chocolates um, here in the United States called Hershey's Kisses, so it kind of looks like a Hershey's Kiss to me. Maybe I'm hungry this morning, um, but that's what it looks like to me. Anyways, um, we can also see how Maple set up the integral. So it did the integral from 0 to pi over 2, pi cosine squared, and it gives us both the exact answer and the approximation. That's exactly what we found when we did it ourselves. Now we can also ask Maple to include this visualization in our file. I'm going to go to Plot Options, and I'm going to choose Color. And the volume, I'm going to choose a really bright color for that just to make my plot really stand out. I'm going to double click on that uh, piece and I'm going to choose a bright color like this pink. And then I'm going to choose color again. And uh, for the actual function, let's choose something a little bit more subdued, uh, the black looks fine. Navy blue. Um, and then we will just click OK to get out of there. And now I will tell Maple to display this in my file. Also notice that down below there is the Maple command and uh, you could copy paste that right into your Maple file if you wanted to. So I clicked close, and now down here in my Maple file I have this beautiful visualization, and again you can click on it and you can rotate it around. Some features to notice here, um, I shaded my, my volume to be that bright magenta so that I could actually see that that's the surface of revolution. And then this dark uh, navy blue line that's going up over the top edge there, that was the function that I rotated or revolved around the x-axis. So we, we had a picture of that to start with, but this 3D visualization really uh, enhances our work.